Hey what is up guys it is me Flavio you're back with another Godfather video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about capos uh, basically which troops you should be using with which capos and how you can recruit capos and how you can upgrade your capos uh, star level so let's start off by, with Owen so right now a lot of people judge capos based on their talent right now if you if you look here it says Owen's talent can improve your massacres combat ability uh, but this is not the the best way to judge your capos um, are the troops that are good with your capos because uh, if you look here it says that at four stars it increases your massacres attack by 10% during battle but at one two and three you don't actually get any massacre buffs so the correct way of judging which capo is good with which troop is to check from the equipment attributes right here so right now i have some equipment attributes and you get these equipment attributes every time you either enhance your capo or every time you equip a new equipment to your capo and if you look at these equipment attributes right here it says drive by hp 10 percent drive by attack 9 percent bomber hp 9 percent bomber attack 2 percent Massacre HP 15% and Massacre attack 18% and now you can see clearly from here that uh, it gives some huge buffs to uh, Massacres. Owen gives a, some huge buffs to Massacres and so uh, Massacres are the best troops to use with Owen. The same thing goes with Giyu. It's not correct to judge him with his talent because his talent activates at 4 stars. It's better to judge him with his attributes and right here if you look at the last attribute it says assassin attack plus 18 percent which is the best uh, amongst all the others and so you need to use assassins with Giyu. Now Al is a bomber capper and now let's see what happens when you judge them wrongly. So right now it says that Al's talent can improve your bomber units and so obviously next time you're going to go into a battle you're, and if you're using bombers then you're going to choose Al. And now what happens is if you look at his equipment attributes right here it says bomber HP plus 2% and you're only going to get a 2% HP buff uh, with Al for, for your bombers but if you're using Owen or Giyu you're actually going to get a 9% HP buff and bomber attack buff of 2% or if you're using Giyu then you're going to get 6% HP buff and 1% attack buff. So that was the first thing that I wanted to clear up that you need to check your capo equipment attributes and not your capo uh, talents to judge which capo is good with which troops. Now let's move to the recruitment. So how do you recruit coppers and how do you get their items? So one of the best ways to recruit coppers to get a couple items is to keep logging in every day. If you look at the login rewards at day 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, uh, you get uh, one full capo item. That means you do not get the capo fragments, but you get a full capo item. There's no need to combine these fragments to get the item. And this is probably the best way uh, to get capo items. Apart from that, there are there are a few other ways you can get uh, them from the martial arts arena shop. Uh, you need to keep refreshing, and if you're lucky, you'll find an item, and you can buy it for like 250 arena points. Then there are story mode levels. Every time you uh, complete particular stages, you can get capo items. Like here in Act One, you can get Geo's item. In Act or you can get Felix's item which is right here so you can keep getting items by doing the story mode levels another way to get items is from the department store I wouldn't recommend buying them from the department store but if you really need them then you can go ahead and purchase them from the department store I guess it costs like 50 gold uh, per fragment and you need 10 fragments to get one item uh, another good way is to defeat these block neutral gangs right here if you look at these neutral gangs uh, They sometimes give you copper items. Let me check. Nope right now. None of my neutral gangs are giving me any copper items, but uh, if you're lucky then you might find uh, some capo items from there as well. They normally give you Geo's or Owen's capo uh, items. They don't give you any other uh, capo's hobby items as far as I know. Um, another way to get them is from the nightclub. Now the nightclub 
it's kind of expensive here because it costs 90k uh, bank notes to get uh, copper items from here or it costs 25 uh, 2.5k gold and i wouldn't recommend uh, getting copper items with bank notes because bank notes is something that you need to uh, research technologies in your library in the future especially after you cross mansion level 16 you need bank notes to increase your troops attack defense and hp so i wouldn't recommend wasting your bank notes uh, in buying copper items, but if that's what we what you want to do then you can go ahead and do it and There's also another uh, way of getting it with gold where you can buy these uh, These glass of brandy and bottle of brandy and get uh, some copper items from there as well, so Yeah, those were all the tips that I had for you guys in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and and thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Also make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to be doing more of these videos in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching.